Hello everybody and welcome to another Attack on Titan tribute game suggestions video. Today we are going to be suggesting the idea of locating titans. Now most of you know pretty well that in game right now there is a method to locate titans but it's not very effective and well it's kind of dangerous because the only way that you can really tell where a titan is without looking at it is by um, waiting to find its footsteps. And its footsteps don't, um, you can't really hear a titan's footsteps until it's literally about uh, 25 uh, feet away from you in game. So yeah, um, that really puts you in a dangerous situation because if it's a big titan that's sneaked up on you and gotten you know, that close to you, then chances are you're going to be dead really soon. If it's a small titan then you know, it makes sense that you don't hear the titan for a long time. But if it's a big titan, you're ex you'd expect that the footsteps would be heard from a long way off. But um, the thing is, that's not the case, and most of the time, if you get sneaked up on by an aberrant, you don't hear the footsteps until it's very close to you, and pretty much you're, it's, a, it's a game over. So, uh, I'd like to suggest uh, a method to so locate Titans, and rather than, you know, putting in like a map or something, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion, uh, I'm going to suggest a character that has the ability to locate Titans. So their special ability is the ability to locate Titans. And if you can't guess which character I'm going to talk about, then, um, well, I don't really know what to say, but the character that I'm going to be talking about is called uh, Mike Sicarius. I don't know if it's Mike or Mika or Mika or I don't know exactly what's going on there, but uh, it's spelled M-I-K-E and he's a Survey Corps. Um, he's a member of the Survey Corps. He's one of the squad leaders, uh, which would make him uh, in rank just under Levi, who is uh, the captain of the uh, Spec Ops squad as well as Lance Corporal, so he'd be second in command and Zacharias would be right under uh, Levi. Uh, so, what should his special be? Well, if we look at the most recent episode of Attack on Titan, which is not the last one in the series, but instead it's the OVA that was released sometime in January, I think, um, you actually get to see a little bit of um, Zacharias. And what he does is he basically smells um, some Titans that are approaching the Survey Corps camp. And then he shoots out a red flare to tell the rest of the group that a titan is nearby. And you'll probably be seeing that footage in the background right about now. And basically what I'm trying to do is I want to translate that uh, same uh, method into the game. So how's that going to happen? Well basically with a little bit of help from one of my friends, uh, I managed to do something similar to what I picture it to look like. Basically when you press the uh, special button, which here I'm going to use Marco because when he does his special it's pretty obvious. Um, when he uses his special, a red flare shoots off where the titan is. And basically once you see where that flare uh, is shot, you can then fly towards the um, flare and then find where the titan is. Now basically what, I, basically, uh, what happens is, uh, for all titans that are alive uh, and on the map, when you click that special, um, the red flare comes up. So if there's 25 titans and they're spread out all around you, if you uh, use your special, you're going to see 25 different red flares coming from all directions at once. And so in that case, it's not very effective. But when there's only two or three titans and you're trying to find them, say in like city or say in forest, this is obviously a very good special. But then again, um, in cases like single player, where basically if you've seen my tutorials video, if you've seen tutorials number two, you basically know exactly where all of the titans are in single player. So in terms of single player, it's a pretty uh, crappy set special. Um, but in terms of multiplayer, and in terms and just for those emergency uses, uh, it's certainly a very useful special. Now I can't really suggest the character um, and just promote a special without actually you know, being a bit more formal about it. So I'm going to introduce some stats. Uh, before we get into the stats though, I just want to quickly show you guys the wiki page for, um, for Mike. And basically, I'm going to be pointing out things in the wiki page as I suggest my stats. Uh, we're going to start with ground speed, which should be 100. And uh, this number honestly can be changed and varied because it doesn't really matter what your ground speed is. If you're a good player, um, then you shouldn't be on the ground that much anyway. If you are, 
then you know having an average ground speed doesn't hurt at all so a ground speed of 100 is okay his blade durability is 75 because if you see here his height is actually 196 which means that he is pretty much the tallest character in um, the anime slash manga in Attack on Titan in general uh, which would mean that he would have the biggest blades in the entire game so, in order to compromise for those massive, massive blades, his blade durability is really low. It's just hard for him to maintain his blades very well, and you know, that's just punishment for having such a huge, huge reach. Uh, next up, his gas is 115, and this has nothing to do with um, anything on the wiki page in general, but uh, because his special is pretty bad uh, in terms of single player, uh, he does need some kind of boost uh, overall, so he does have a lot of gas. And finally, because uh, he is described as being the second best fighter after Levi, so basically he is humanity's second best soldier. Uh, so yeah, naturally he'd be very fast in the air, naturally he'd be very um, talented with the 3 dmg So uh, uh, a speed of 80, which is as fast as Levi, um, would certainly be appropriate in my opinion. And yeah, that's about it. That's my personal suggestions on um, Mika slash Mike slash Mika slash whatever. And um, yeah, I think I personally think this is the most canon way and the most um, logical way that the ability to locate Titans that you don't know where they are. It does make a lot of sense and um, it's very easy to understand. Uh, and hopefully, you know, everything bounces out with each other because, you know, you know, big blades means that he has less blade durability. A pretty bad special in single player leads to a better gas usage. And his speed is just there because it's canon and it makes sense. Of course, I personally think that the footsteps themselves should have, uh, should change based on the Titan's size. So if it's really big Titans, then, you know, a footstep, a footstep range of 120 would be really cool. And then the smaller you go, the more difficult it is to locate those Titans using the footsteps. I, I personally think that'd be a very cool addition. I don't know if Feng is going to add that though. Hopefully he does sometime soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends and anyone else who you think will enjoy. Because this is a suggestion, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of um, ask you guys to share it with anyone who plays the game so that the idea kind of uh, gets around and you know there's a there's a more general discussion on how these things can be added into the game rather than me just ranting for like 10 minutes straight <laughs> on what i think should be added to the game comments ask questions be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time take care everyone